Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I wanted to make this video because there are a few things I wanted to let y'all know that may be too long for a community post. Plus, a video may reach more subscribers than a community post. I'm going to try to not ramble, but we all know how much that I like to do that. So anyway, I guess the first thing we need to talk about is what's going on outside of my channel and all of that. A couple of months ago, I put a community post out saying that I recently started a job. Because of this, I haven't been able to upload as often as I was previously. Typically, Wednesdays and Fridays were my upload days. But I only get two days a week off, which many people do. But they're in the middle of the week. Like right now, it's Wednesdays and Thursdays. But that can change at any time. I do feel like there is a slight set schedule, but not enough to base every plan that I make off of. It could change in another month. Going forward, not this week and not next week, because next week is Thanksgiving here in the U.S. Week after next, I am going to start trying to upload on Thursdays and Fridays. It might not, again, it might not always be every thursday and every friday it might be one video a week it might be no videos a week it's still not going to be as consistent as it has been in the past but i'm going to strive for thursdays and fridays are my new upload schedule i think i'm still going to keep it at five o'clock also i wanted to talk about the 70 legacy series i'm just going to be honest i'm bored of that series the newberry family no longer really excite me to play them anymore i just i'm bored i'm really bored with them and that might have been because i think i was slowly starting to get burnt out on the sims which now that i have a job i don't really have time to get bored now but i just don't know what i want to do with them i feel like autumn's story is finished she married stefan they have kids they're happy and I just don't really care to continue it. I may want to bring them back in some form or another in the future, but I think right now I'm just going to cancel the series completely. I tried, I tried everything that I could think of to get myself really enjoying the, the series. It doesn't do for me what my Zalvador family, the only current household video I have on my channel from like a year ago, I'm still playing that household. I'm still playing that save. The Newberries just aren't it for me. They just don't, you know, I don't care. I, I, I'm just done, <laughs> to be honest. I just don't care anymore about the Newberries. So I'm probably going to cancel that. I'm also going to cancel the Renovating EA series. That's the build series where I renovated EA's lots. I was going to bring it back, but I just realized that while doing Brindleton Bay, my heart just wasn't in it because I've discovered that I really don't care a lot about the pre-made household past San Maishuno. And even that is kind of a bit of a stretch. Windenburg is like the last world that I really, really care about. And maybe it's because the rest of them, I still view them as relatively new households. And who's to say four or five years from now, I'll come back in and want to play San Sequoia or whatever. But I just, those are just not households that I really care about. And those are worlds that I just don't really care that much about. Except for like a handful from each world. Like I love George K. Hill from Strangerville. Plus I have built on every single lot for my save file. And I just prefer my builds more. So I would rather just move all of the pre-mades into like my uh, unpopulated save that I share with the community. And just redecorate those houses because I just like it better. I know that sounds terrible, but it's the truth. It's exactly how I feel. I like my builds better than EA's. Sorry. Like I said earlier, I think I was starting to get burnout. And which is why I haven't also put in any speed builds up. And, you know, I haven't built anything or even wanted to build anything since growing together. I'm canceling the renovating EA series altogether. I'm done with it. The Sims 4 for rent is going to be coming out soon. And... I'm going to be honest, my first thought was City Living 2.0, and apparently I thought that, and then I saw everybody else's reactions, and we all had the same reaction. 
this is what city living should have been. But we got talking toilets in city living. But from what little bit of information we've been given and from some of the things that I've seen, I am kind of intrigued. Um, I'm not intrigued enough to go and pre-order it. I'm still going to wait on the live stream. But as it stands right now, I probably will be getting that pack. And of course, if I do, I'll be updating the save. But that may take a little bit longer than it has in the previous versions. Usually it takes me around roughly about a week to two weeks from when I get my hands on a pack to be able to plan it and build everything and make the, you know, create the Sims and, you know, their stories and all of that. But this one might take me longer with my work schedule and everything. It might take me closer to a month to finish. I'm hoping that with that, it'll be worth the wait because the quality will be there. Hopefully, while we're on the subject of my save file, the residence overview that I do has really shown me a lot of mistakes and oversights that I have made in the other worlds. And I started working on the uh on updating the households and everything i only updated like three or four households so that will not be with the next version if i do get for rent it will they they will still be the same as they are in the last version in the growing together version but i will eventually get around to doing it i probably should have taken the time when i fully decided that i wasn't getting horse ranch and really started working more diligently but again I was kind of getting burnt out on the sims and then I got my job and then I didn't have time and now I'm starting to find some time that is something that I have really had a hard time since I started working adjusting to is trying to balance work life or home and hobbies and um which is something that it's not just exclusive to me. I'm sure everyone struggles with that when they get their first job or when they, whenever they get a new job that's not like their old job or whatever. It's something we all struggle with, I'm sure. But the thing about me is I'm a creature of habit, even bad habits, and it takes me a while to get used to a new routine. And I am starting to slowly get there and starting to manage my time and plan everything just in the last week i'm starting to not be completely drained of energy by the time i come home from work this is a lot different from what i've you know i've been a stay-at-home mom for many years i'm basically starting out where people just out of high school and and college are starting but with a 40 year old body almost a 40 year old body so it's 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 been a challenge for me but i'm doing all right i'm starting to get into my new routine anyway i think i have covered everything i wanted to talk to y'all about i don't think i rambled too much except for that last little bit so i guess that's all from me for now if you like this video give it a like if you want to see more subscribe and i will talk to y'all later thanks for watching bye Thank <laughs> you.